You can either create your own design variations or use best-selling designs for inspiration. AI can help you with that. Stay with me and I'll show you how. Take a screenshot of a design or use your own graphic file and paste it into ChatGPT. Ask it to describe the graphic you've provided. Once ChatGPT describes the graphic, ask it to rewrite the example prompt based on that graphic and add your own working prompt, the one you've already tested, and know it works. You'll find my prompt example in the video description. Hmm, it gave me the same old prompt. I'm not going to record a new video, so I'll try to fix it. Even though ChatGPT assured me it understood the confusion, it gave me the same variation of the same prompt again. So, let's try a different approach. When I asked, what is the quote on the provided graphic, I got the correct response. My next question is, then why did you write, create a bold graphic t-shirt design featuring the quote, hang on, let me overthink this. Sometimes you can steer someone in the right direction by asking leading questions. So I decided to try that with ChatGPT. Finally, it worked. Now let's open a new chat and paste this prompt there. Stay with me. This is only halfway through. A bit later, I'll show you another image generator I've started using for t-shirt designs. And I'll also ask ChatGPT what prompt I should use to avoid misunderstandings in the future. And here's the design from ChatGPT. I don't like the writing, and something is off with the framing. I mean, most designs look more or less like this, but something here feels off. However, I do like the white and yellow color mix, and I like these graphics. And yes, ChatGPT, I know you're eager to show me the middle finger, but since I asked for a different gesture, it seems you came up with a totally new one. Still, I like how you incorporated the checkered flag here. Okay, let's move to C-Art and paste the same prompt there. I'll try two options, one that charges credits for generation and one that generates unlimited images for free. The paid one is faster, but the free one is also fast enough. I only recently started creating t-shirt designs here, so I'm not sure yet if there's a difference in quality between the free and paid versions. I used C-Art before for other projects, but thanks to a question from one of my subscribers, Pavel, I tested it for t-shirt designs, and so far it's working well. So, here are the designs. The writing is nice, and I like that I can generate and view multiple variations at once. The hand gesture in every single design is wrong, though. It seems AI still struggles with human hands. This one caught my attention for a simple reason. Here, I can easily replace the hand. Next, I trace this image using the same method I demonstrated in this video. downloaded a skeleton hand and checkered flag from Creative Fabrica, and did some recoloring and minor edits in Affinity Designer. If you don't have Affinity Designer or Adobe Illustrator, I'm sure you can do the same in free software, like Inkscape. You'll find all related links in the video description. And finally, let's ask ChatGPT how I should write that prompt to avoid misunderstandings. I got two options, and I'll try them next time. You'll find all working prompts on my website. The link is in the video description.